Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is 5th of November 2018. Mr. or Ms. Wedsa asked me to upload a video about smart pointers such as unique PTR or shared PTR. I appreciate Mr. Wedsa for requesting this video. If you request more videos, I will try to answer you as soon as possible, as detailed as possible. Thank you for requesting me this video. I am planning to film a series of videos about unique PTR alone. If you find some points are unclear or hard to understand, please leave your comments and questions. Then I will answer those questions through video or through text message. Please note that I am using Visual Studio 2017 File Menu New Project Select Visual C++ Windows Desktop Windows Console Application Solution name will be Unique PTR Solution and project name will be 01 Unique PTR Click OK I will delete this part and here we need to include memory memory because unique ptl is defined in memory we can copy this text cut then in header files pch paste it here like this save then we can close this pch file we will create a function void test unique ptr declaration std unique ptr this is type this parameter template parameter or argument this is template argument this is type int ui ptr this is an instance of unique ptr okay declare an instance of unique ptr that can hold int pointer, integer pointer. And we are testing this unique PTR. If it is valid or not, we can test like this. If you PTR, you I PTR, std, cout, you I PTR is invalid, std, and there. Else, std, cout, ui ptr is valid. std, and there. Another way we can test is like this. If ui ptr, std, cout, UI PTR is valid. STD and there. Else STD C out. UI PTR is invalid. STD and there. So it is not yet allocated. Okay. UI PTR is not yet allocated that is ui ptr is invalid now test this function test ui ptr declaration control f5 okay ui ptr is invalid if you want to know an instance of unique PTL is invalid, then you have to test like this. If you want to check if unique PTL is valid, then you have to check like this. This UI PTR is for non-array declaration. Okay. So if we want to declare unique PTR for array, then we have to do like this. STD unique ptr this is array ui 
a ptr okay we are declaring an instance of unique ptr that can hold an array of type int this ui ptr is still not yet allocated that is this ui ptr is invalid we cannot use it so we can test once again ui ptr cd c out ui ptr is valid std and then else std c out ui ptr is invalid std and then control f5 okay this is still invalid now let's move on std unique ptr we now declare long ul ptr we have to declare like this new long we declare an instance of unique ptr that can hold a long pointer and we allocated one long but the value of this long is not yet initialized so we test again if u long ptr std c out ul ptr is valid okay std c out the value of ul ptr is you we have to access like this star ul ptr std and then this is access the value that ul ptr points to okay now let's run once again control f5 so this is garbage value U ul ptr is valid but the value of U ul ptr is garbage value now at this point we'll do once again std unique ptr long you i will say short s u p t r new short then please note that this syntax we are allocating and initialize to zero okay declare an instance of unique ptr that can hold short pointer and initialize allocate and initialize the short with the value zero okay so here SUPTR SDD C out S SUPTR is valid SDD C out SUPTR points to a shot whose value is SUPTR please remember this syntax this is initializing the value zero this is just one instance of short std and l this syntax returns 
the value that SUPTR points to. Okay. Now control F5. So I hope you understand this point. SUPTR is valid. SUPTR is valid. And SUPTR points to a short, short data type short whose value is zero. Ch this is initializing a short with value zero. Okay. I hope you understand this point. Now we initialize std unique ptr. I will say short. This is array. Okay, this is array. S A U P T R new short. This is array count. I will say size t count equals five. Five. Okay. I will explain this. Declare an instance of unique PTR that can hold five elements of type short. But the value of each element is not yet initialized. Okay. So here, if SAU PTR, now this pointer is valid, right? This pointer is valid. Then for size TI equals zero, I should be less than the count, count, then plus plus I. Now we can access this as array like this std see out we can access this is array so we can access like this sa u ptr like array index std and there okay now we run this program control f5 so the values are garbage okay so five short is allocated this is array syntax but the values are garbage. Please compare. Pl please compare this syntax. Please compare this syntax and this syntax. This syntax and this syntax. This is one instance of a short. One instance of a sh short. Okay. This is. This is array of a short we we provide a count here okay count here please compare this this is initializing zero don't get confused with care brackets with curly brace okay this is for initializing one one instance this is allocating five elements but it is not yet initialized it gives us if we run it, the values are pi five values are all garbage. Now another one, std unique ptr. I would say double. This is array. Du ptr. Du a ptr. Du a u ptr. New double. I will use the count, okay? Count. This is five elements. Count is five elements. I will copy this and paste it here. Not get confused, okay? And also here. Now this time we will initialize to zero, all to zero, okay? All to zero point zero because this is double. Declare an instance of a unique PTR that can hold count elements of type double and each element of this array is 
initialized to zero. Okay, so this is this is count of array. This is default value of each element. So now we display for size ti equals zero i less than count plus plus i here std c out d a u p t r i std and there okay now let's build initialized now build and run control f5 so five doubles are initialized to zero okay please understand this concept we learned how to declare in this case you uiptl is not initialized yet memory is not yet allocated we can test the validity of unique ptl by using this syntax this structure this is array this is integer array so if we want to allocate we have to use integer array type this is allocating long we are allocating but the value is undefined okay the value of long is undefined yet so it gives garbage value and in this case we are allocating one shot but its value is initialized to zero and in this case we are allocating count five five elements of array short array and the values are not initialized not yet initialized so it gives garbage value in this case we initialize five doubles as array this is array syntax each element is initialized to default value zero before we close this session i will create a new project add new project windows desktop windows console this is o2 unique ptr click ok in next session we will learn more about initialization of unique ptr and more advanced technique please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching